Welcome to Inside Lake Forest. I'm Eileen Weber, your host, and today I have the pleasure of visiting with a couple of the Lake Forest Caucus Committee members here at the Gorton Community Center. Michael is the current president. Hi, Michael. Hi, Eileen. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. Who is Michael Freeman, the current president? And Michael, if you could start out by telling us why the caucus was founded and when it was founded. The caucus is almost 80 years old now and still does what it was originally designed to do, which is uh, a group of volunteers seeking other volunteers in the community to serve on the various boards and commissions that support our local government. Um, there are some elected positions mm -hmm. as well as ones that are appointed by the mayor. Okay, great. And can you give me an example of some of those boards and commissions that people can maybe relate to? Sure. Well, school board is the one I think that would relate to most of our um, residents. Uh, we do school board candidates, we mm -hmm. interview, we have a school board search committee that uh, recruits, uh, interviews, vets, and then recommends for placement on the ballot school board candidates for District 67 mm -hmm. as well as District 115. Okay. And this search process that you, that the caucus committee members go through is a quite a long process if I recollect as, as a member of the caucus as well. It's probably about a year long. So people are really seeking individuals who have enthusiasm towards that particular board. Absolutely. So we have the elected positions which are school board. Mm -hmm. We also then our city government, so aldermen and mayor, those come through the caucus. The caucus makes recommendations for placement on the ballot for those individuals as well. Of course, others can run in mm -hmm. the election, mm -hmm. but the caucus uh, for school board spends almost two years. Okay. Uh, it's a two-year election cycle, and we start the previous year by starting to identify candidates. Uh, also, we try and interview residents as it relates mm -hmm. to things that they would look for in a school board member. Um, so for those elected positions, it is quite a long process. So there are almost 140 other positions wow, for okay. boards and commissions that the caucus also makes recommendations to the mayor. Ultimately, appointment to those boards and commissions mm -hmm. is in, at the discretion of the mayor. He or she may accept those candidates from the caucus or choose others. Let's talk a little bit about who makes up the caucus. Can you tell me about how many individuals are involved and how it's broken up? Yes, all members of the caucus, uh, you have to be a, a resident of Lake Forest okay. and a registered voter. Um, the members of the caucus are elected. Uh, the city is divided up into four wards, as most of your viewers will know. And uh, the caucus has nine members from each of those four wards in okay. the city, and then an executive board of six additional members, a president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, and communications chair. Wonderful. So within each ward is an election for uh, caucus committee members. They're voted on by their neighbors to basically represent them as they go through this interviewing process of all of these different candidates. Correct, and we're always looking for new members to serve on those caucus committees. Those nine member caucus committees from each of the four wards are elected uh, annually. Okay. So the great thing about the caucus um, is that every year, almost a third of the caucus is new members, made up of new members. Great, and it, the wide variety of backgrounds, I think, is what impresses me the most about the caucus. You have everything from, Michael, yourself as an attorney with a large Fortune 500 company, to myself, who is a born and raised Lake Forest and works at a local business. So I think it really shows the diversity of the group as well. Agreed, yeah, it's, it is great, and that I think that turnover also makes it fresh every year. Mm -hmm. So we have members of the caucus who've been in the community as little as two or three years okay. and then we have members who like yourself might be generational members of the residents of Lake Forest. So uh, you have that pr uh, different perspective, that diversity of not just the wards mm -hmm. but also the people within because you can only serve one term as a caucus committee member. Okay. So by definition under our bylaws and our term limits uh, we're always getting a fresh crop of uh, new people to come in and lend their talents, their contacts, and of course that leads to a great volunteer city government like we have here in Lake Forest. Well, I think, Michael, I have the pleasure of meeting with Donna Williams also today, who's a member of the executive committee yes. of the caucus. I think she's going to share with us how volunteers can get involved. Yes, and I'm embarrassed to say that I think that was the sixth member of the executive committee I left off, which of course is our fundraising chair, Donna. Wonderful. Thanks, Michael. Thanks. It's a pleasure Great meeting. meeting with you. Great seeing you. Donna, it's a pleasure to meet with you today. Nice to meet with you as well. Thank you. And you hold the position of fundraising chair. Yes. Wonderful. Well, tell me a little bit about how volunteers can get involved with the caucus. People maybe who are watching the show and say, yeah, I'd like to meet that group. 
Um, one of the best things to do is actually go to our website, which is uh, lakeforestcaucus.com. And there's obviously a lot of information on there. There's bios about all the members. Okay. So you may, you know, you may have a neighbor that's part of the caucus that you never really knew, and you can s see their bio and then get a chance to talk with them, hook up with them at some point later. Um, so that's the best way. Right. The, the, uh, another way is to actually attend our annual uh, Lake Forest Caucus Night or Community Night, okay. and it's usually the third weekend in February. Okay. It's um, a fundraising event, but really what it is is a chance for people to get out, meet um, the candidates if we're mm -hmm. having an election that year, meet other caucus members, and um, usually uh, the uh, representatives from the boards and commissions, sometimes the city council, some of the school board members will attend as well. So it's a chance just informally to meet a lot of the volunteers that support the city mm -hmm. as well as other caucus members. So that's another great opportunity. And then the third way, once you really know you want to um, either volunteer for a board and commission or get involved in the comp with the caucus, mm -hmm. would be to actually fill out a volunteer profile sheet. And okay. you can access those um, via the website as well. Perfect. Now you also have an annual meeting that's open to the public as well, so people can come and learn a little bit more about the caucus once a year, is that correct? Yeah, that's once a year in November, okay. and um, the date, you can also find out the date on the um, on the website as well. Perfect. Um, and it's a chance for people to learn more about the caucus process yeah. and also to um, communicate about the candidates that we're putting forward. So it's at that meeting where if it's an elected p position mm -hmm. like school board or city council, they would have the chance to um, hear who we are slating and vote either for or against those candidates. Wonderful. Now let's break a couple of myths that I think are out there about the caucus. Um, the caucus is, does not hold a political platform, is that correct? That's correct. It's nonpartisan. And then secondly, the caucus is self-funding, so it does not receive any government funding at all, state, local, et cetera, is that right. correct? Right, and I'm glad you asked because as fundraising chair, a lot of times we get questions like, why would you need money if it's nonpartisan and if mm -hmm. all these people are volunteers? And and our spending is really minimal, but our funding is really basically zero. It's just people like yourself or myself coming mm -hmm. to the community night or you know occasionally writing um, a small check. But the main thing that we need funding for is to actually print the ballots and print mm -hmm. the basic communication, um, the bios about mm -hmm. the candidates. Because what we found is if you don't actually go with printed materials, you are losing a certain population of the segment of the city. So okay. we've continued to offer ballots and communication via printed materials. And one of the things I want to mention, because probably the ballot is something that could get lost in people's mail. They just, they're not familiar with it. Typically that's mailed out what time of the year and so that way they can start looking for it in, in their mail. It's typically mailed around March and, okay. a, and a lot of times it gets it mixed in the, the mix of spring break. So it's right around okay. then. The election is usually the beginning of April, but the candidate materials will usually be out by mid-March. So the, really the advice for the residents is take a look at that ballot, get to know your neighbor, neighbors and see cast your vote and therefore have some sort of representation for your thoughts and, and opinions from your neighborhood in the caucus committee. Absolutely. We would love to see kind of more involvement and more voters. Um, that's just really what the process is about. Great. So we're on, uh, you've got a website. They also have some Facebook presence as well. So True. you can follow along the, with the caucus on Facebook. I think it's just Lake Forest Caucus. Right. Um, so lots of opportunities to get involved as well as, or contacting, as you mentioned, one of your, probably your neighbors, and you can see everyone's bios on the website. Right. Well, Donna, it's certainly been a pleasure with you. Thank nice you so much. You. Thanks. Thank you for watching Inside Lake Forest today. As you know, I've had the privilege of interviewing a couple of the Lake Forest Caucus Committee members, where they go about connecting people through the community and volunteers.